Whiskey Jason here. Whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany tasting rare and exotic whiskeys. Today I have something from Signatory Vintage, the Unchilled Unchill Filtered Collection. Single malt Scotch whiskey distilled at Mortlach. Yay. Um, it was distilled on the 30th of April 2007 and it was bottled on the 3rd of August 2008. Sorry, sorry 2020. Now look at this color. This is old school whiskey. What do I mean? What do I mean by old school whiskey? Now today I have a problem that most of the people think and actually believe some of them. The darker the whiskey, the better. And now then you have such ju just jewels like this that are just so light in color, but yet so delicious. So this is whiskey base number 167414. Um, this is 54. Um, euros and 90 cents, so I think it's actually not a bad deal for the 13 years that I got. Um, and it's a mix of two hogsheads. If you've ever been with Sign Signatory Vintage, they do this a lot so they have enough bottles. Otherwise, one hogshead would be maybe only, I don't know, 300 bottles, and you put two together, you get 600 some. Now, what I have here is actually bottle number 632. Unfortunately, on the websites I've been looking at, they all say that there's a total of 418 bottles. Hmm. Even the webpage, um, the whiskey base where I bought this bottle from, um, they actually have a, a number limited to 418. They have the picture of the bottle, and their bottle was 638. <laughs> so it makes absolutely no sense. I don't know. All right, good. I'm going to compare this, and as you know, my channel by now, I love comparing things. And I found something that's 13 years old with a 46% ABV. Um, price, they're about the same over here. I'm paying about 42 for this. And this was 45, so it's a very, very similar. Excuse me when I use the rest of my um, glass from my video in German. All right, so um, color, of course, if you take a look at this one, you see the very light uh, color. And over here, you can actually see the much darker color. Now, color is not everything, but it is a lot. And 13 years old is a nice age for a good whiskey. Um, some people have actually said way back when... <laughs> So maybe in the 80s, let's go back then, 12 years old was a respectable age. Today, um, 18 years old is a respectable age. 12 is where we start often. All right, so on the nose. A sweet... Yellow plum gooseberry type of moment. It's just, it's a beautiful, beautiful light fruits. The vanilla, the sweetness, the malt. Now, some people call the Mortlach a little bit of a meaty type of um, character. I'm not really sure if I can, I can define what the other people mean by meaty. I recently did a blind tasting um, where I had the 12-year-old and the 14-year-old. And I did not like the 12-year-old. I really enjoyed the 14-year-old. It was much, much, much better. Travel retail exclusive. But um, it was very interesting how disappointed not just I, but also the 15 other, 12, 20 other people that actually tasted with me were also disappointed in the 12-year-old from Mortlach because Mortlach has a great, great, great um, a reputation. So they did screw up around 2014 where they brought out the half-liter bottles and doubled the price. And people were like, ah, how can you do that? And Diageo basically went, okay, whoops, sorry. <laughs> and I must admit, bravo for that. All right, um, this is um, the Unchilled Filtered Collection from Signature Vintage, the Drinker's Bottle. Now, you have this, um, I'm going to say, fairly ugly little tin here. It's made out of cardboard. It's got this silver type of coating on it, which I do not like. It's got this old-fashioned handwriting, which I don't like. And it's, it's economically, or economically, it's cheap to build, and it's very um, easy to throw away and recycle. Even the label here, one label, nothing else. On the back, nothing. Here, you have all the information you need. You have the date. You have the cast numbers. You have the bottle numbers. You have matured in. You have the age. Everything's there. Um, nothing's missing. Total transparency. And yet, absolutely no gimmicks. No fancy type of things on there. No whatever else. No marketing. This, just, this whiskey sells due to the merit of this whiskey itself. And I like that. I like that a lot. Now, I love my Craig Alachy. And it might have a hard time today, actually, which shows how good this one is. On the nose, I would actually prefer the uh, Mortlach. 
to the Craig Alechi. It's lighter. It's it's more it's more of a summertime moment. It's a field. It's a ripe fruit. It's very very light and delicious. And this today has a little bit of a woodier note and also a little bit more of a um, of a darker moment. So more of a um, type of berries. We're going towards the towards the not ripe um, raspberries and the 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 brass. Let's go for the raspberries. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Blackberries, raspberries around there. All right. Forty six percent. The perfect drinking strength, non-chilled filter, no color added, as you hopefully can see. Hmm. Hmm. Wow, that's good. <laughs> That is really, really nice. I must admit, I am absolutely blown away about the quality of this Motlach. Now, on German, I'm doing actually a blind tasting. There's an independent, um, not independent bottle, there's an importer over here in Germany called Kirsch. I've mentioned them many, many times. And what they did is they actually have from Signatory Vintage a very great connection with them. And so they have four bottles exclusive for Germany. And then what did I do? I made a tasting with six bottles. Um, I put this in this, so I had to buy another one. And there was also from King's Barn, the new Crombie or a Combi. Um, there's three with sherry, three without sherry, three hogsheads, three um, sherry butts. And so we're going to actually t try them and, and compare them blind. And at the end, we're going to discover and we're going to reveal what was what. And I have a feeling that this is going to be very, very fr front and foremost. This is good stuff. I don't think that the other bottles will actually be able to beat that unless, of course... I'm on the evening and I have a hankering for a sherry um, matured whiskey. That's not that. So, all right, going over to the Craig Galachy, 13. Mm hmm. Hmm. I do like this a lot. I like the 17 from Craig Galachy even more. But I'm not getting the feeling that this is as cohesive, as round, as as um, as silky rich as as this as this is. I'm trying to avoid the word smooth, as you see. Um, I like the copper bite of this. I like the worm tub worm tub effect, and also here we have the worm tubs, and so wow, this is the winner. I'm going to give this a B to a B minus, and I'm sure you're not going to be able to find any of these bottles outside of um, Europe. Um, in Europe, if you can find it with the 304, 896, and 304, 898, those are the two hogs head they married. This is absolutely fine. This is absolutely my cup of tea today. Um, as I said, B to B minus for the taste, and actually C to almost a C plus for value for money. Um, I can't get this much cheaper than this. And um, this is one of those things that I'm going to actually go out and see, hmm, am I going to buy another bottle? This is something I'd love to have some blind tastings, um, some further blind tastings, and to, to, to um, recommend people to try this and, they, and, and find out what Mortlach can actually be in its purest sense, in these hog's heads. They're not first filled hog's heads, they're retired, or they're, no, they're tired, they're second, maybe even third filled hog's heads where the whiskey has time to mature, to develop, and that's what this um, this old school whiskey's like, and I really enjoy it. I love some good old school whiskey, and I'm not always a fan of the um, super hyper, um, fast matured sherry bombs that are out there. All right. Thank you very much. My question of the day is, what is your favorite, um, or have you seen any, um, bottlings from the Signatory Vintage Unchilled Filtered um, or Unchilled um, Filtered Collection? If so, what has been your favorite? And second of all, what is your favorite Motlach that there's out there? I like the 14. I like this a little bit better, I think, but I have to compare them side to side to actually decide. All the best. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, tell others, share this video, be so kind. Um, Motlach is a very, very good thing, and all the best to you in the future. We'll see you back here about three or four times a week. I'll be publishing videos, usually things no one else has done a video about. Bye-bye, Whiskey Jason. See you soon.